No. Brody, what the fuck? 50? What the fuck? Yo, I'm getting tired. Those 50? I'm popping this, dude. I'm popping the Red Bull. I'm fuck. I'm playing tonight. I gotta get good again. Travis B, think of the Prime. Welcome. Uh, Vanch, think of the Prime. Welcome. Mario Chan, think again. One of us. Why'd people happen in the chat? Let's go. Thank you, Rudy, again. Jesus, thank you so much. I mean, uh, we going we gonna just get clapped all day, or are we gonna act like we're the, you know, undefeated Apex Legends champion? It's okay, dude. I got Grace, Graceful in here, he'll, he'll carry. You know, I met this guy in a random Overwatch ranked game. He was, he didn't stream or anything. I just met him randomly and we became like best friends overnight and started playing together for like months. And he's also a signed pro for this game too now. Who? Got invited, Graceful. Oh, you said you want to invite somebody. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got him. He's in. I've known this guy for a long oh, time man. now. He's literally the most positive person you will ever meet. No, no, no. Uh, trust me. <laughs> Really? Like more Trust positive me. than Nicky? Trust me. He he's literally like the meme back when I met him on my stream was nice kill Mendo. And just because he would just be so overwhelmingly positive about everything. That's how you're supposed to be in life. Hell no, you're supposed to flame people, call them dumb. <laughs> no, that guy has a big dick if he's not doing that. <laughs> if he's just nice, he, that's that signs of having a Huge cock. <laughs> People with small dicks are toxic. Sorry, man. True. I mean, hey, <laughs> right here, dude. <laughs> Life needs bombs. How do I get along with a positive person? Dude, it's little easy. Little I'm me, and he's him. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just too positive. <laughs> Cherry syrup, cotton candy on top, and pour the Red Bull so in and watch the Oh. Uh, no, I don't. I didn't send him any matter or anything, so we can play this game out. No, no, I said, what team does he play for? Oh, Triumph. He oh, plays Triumph. with Daneless okay. and Evokia. I went to really old school Overwatch lands with them in Germany. The first ever Overwatch land, I was, I teamed with them. What do you oh, do sorry. when you like click on something and then you have to like back out? What do you press? Escape. You press what? Escape. Does it take you time to press it or do you do it fast? I have a 60% keyboard, so my escape is the same as like probably your tilde. It's the one next to the number one, so it's really Which close. Keyboard? Like a ducky? Uh, it's a custom build Tofu 60% with uh, Zelio oh. 67 grams. And the, wait, the one I'm using right now is the GK64 with MX Cherry Red. I love Zelio, yeah. Dude, I can't see anything! Mark has told me Apex is dead. I don't think he'll be playing again. Maybe he will. I hope he will. He was fucked pumped a lot. But he, he doesn't have belief in the game. Can't blame him. But said he doesn't want to play Apex after the patch? Can't blame him. But the thing is... I'm happy about it. I am happy about it because it is a step in the right direction. I'll summarize it. <clears throat> All the bugs on release, I think that's unacceptable. I think you should give us a public test client or actually properly test your shit before you release it. So, I, it, you know, companies don't always like work in the most flawless ways, but I think releasing patches without bugs is a really good step towards having people it's talk bad. about patches in a positive light instead of making the joke that they're always broken, there's always glitches and stuff. I think it's unacceptable. It's a free to play game, and I totally understand that, but I think it's unacceptable. Elite Q is great. It's fucking great. Yeah, it promotes camping, it promotes longbow shit, it promotes a lot of anti fun play styles, but now that these issues like camping and promoting camping Bitch and no, no footsteps and fun like overall and crawling being loud they're more centralized and more important now that placement actually has a sort of reward in the game this means that hopefully Bitch you guys dab. respawn will notice that these things are problems and actually work on them to improve on them hopefully you see how big of a problem just camping is and how unfun it is and do a point based system based on total amount of points per game Damn. for elite queue and have kills about give you a point and placement give you points too or at least give incentive to kill give give kill something that matters for a, le a leaderboard or something for elite queue uh make it so that you have you cannot queue in elite queue just because your party leader has access to it please make it so that everyone in elite queue has to have placed in top five or reached whatever other requirements you might put on in the future i love the storm changes i love the storm changes i love the loot changes 
Uh, I think, as I said, the bugs, the lag, that shit is unacceptable to me, but fix it and the game will be in a really good state. All right, editors, get ready to cut this out because I'm probably gonna end up dying. Please work on password protected data centers for content creators, pro teams, tournament holders, just people who want to scrim. Maybe even officially support scrim servers. Or something so that people can practice in a more organized setting that isn't kill race. Because kill race is going to burn out all your competitive players and it is not their fault. Competitive players scrimming in snipe lobbies and shit without proper support, it is not their fault for burning out. You can never blame them for not playing when they don't have the access to actually Bitch practice damn. in a fundamentally, like, good way for improvement. Reinstate b-hopping as an official feature of the game and balance it in a different way that doesn't make you feel restricted. Now I understand, honestly, the decision is hard to make because you're making a mobile version of the game. But please, a lot of players liked that it. it was fundamentally damn. a very arena feeling. They liked how high mobility it was, shooting people, just fragging out, having fun. Please add diminishing returns to arc stars. Bitch, so if you damn. just throw arc stars and arc stars, have the slow effects either disappear or uh, get lighter. Please don't lower sensitivity on arc star slow. Please, that is stupid. You can just have a DPI switch to change your DPI and do the math so that it doesn't slow you. It is stupid and it's only annoying. But elite Q is a really good step in the right direction. Not only that, it's elite Q based on actually some sort of like performance of being good at the game. It is also adding a game mode, which means they can do it in the future as well. That's really good. Just please fix how big of a problem camping and stuff is. And Elite Q will be a ton times more enjoyable to play for the average player and pro players no, no, and competitive mean, I players. I am summarizing my thoughts on the patch. Make people actually fundamentally want to play the game in a competitive way. Uh, by making it not only placement, adding, you know, kills, some sort of kill incentive. It doesn't have, you can qualify via placements and climb up in your Elite Q rank just by getting X amount of total kills in Elite Q and trying to match Not you against other people and, or give points based on kills and your kills based on damage. So if you deal X amount of damage and get like, if you deal 100 damage and get 10 kills, that means you deal 10 damage per player, you know? That's not as bad as 1,000 damage for 10 kills. And have that balance around what part of the game you got the kills at because there won't be good armor early game and late game and it'll be harder to kill people late game and early game and have some sort of point system. And then please, for the love of God, Balancing weapons via unnecessary visual clutter is never the way. Promoting hip firing, aka promoting RNG when using weapons that are high skill cap and YouTube with beats. outplay potential. I think the game is getting better. Yes, it 100% is. Sorry for ignoring you guys right now. But please, reduce or remove the visual clutter. Holy fuck. Piped out. Uh. Rudy, thank you. Hip fire is fine, but please don't promote the players to use it because of visual clutter. It is not worth it. And if you're restricting so many of these config commands, why the fuck can I still delete shadows from my game with officially supported in-game commands? That is unacceptable. Shadows is way bigger than hip, than muzzle flash. People only spoke about muzzle flash because of how annoying the visual clutter is that you can't see anything, but it like hurts your eyes. That some people literally just cannot properly play because of it. Unacceptable. But overall, this patch is a big step in the right direction. It's a big step in the right direction. Some sort of competitive game mode, I fucking love it. I don't care how early it is. You can adjust this shit easy. You can, you can use this game mode as a template to improve on the game even further. I'm really excited for the future with this. Now, is it enough content to keep me playing every single day? I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of enjoying it right now. I'm a big bad player right now because I haven't played for a while. But... It's definitely way better than it was before. The game is in a much better state in terms of replayability than it was before. By far. And that is good. Going for high streaks in Elite Q and shit. Fuck yes. But please, don't promote camping. Promote kills. Promote dealing damage. Promote things. It doesn't have to be what you want in a game. You probably already know this. But you, what you want in a game like this is multiple viable strategies. You do not want camping and hiding to be by far the most viable strategy with sitting in a fucking corner or sitting on a roof with a longbow and just spamming. That shouldn't be the most viable strategy. There should be multiple viable strategies. You should be able to play the game as you want versus equally skilled players and stand a chance. Did you just say something nice about Apex? What drug are hey man, you on? I love the game. I've just hated the direction of the game where it's been dumbed down. But 
This is, sure, they dumbed down the game a lot with removing B hopping, but Elite Q shows that they actually fucking care. They care, which is good. But if I don't, I want the game to promote multiple play styles, not just one. We are, we are only playing aggressive and playing to frag because that's how we want to play the game. But the game isn't as good in terms of like, if we only wanted to win. Camping is the, by far the biggest issue the game has right now, and you need incentive for competitive play, for playing more aggressive or more strategic instead of just straight up longboat camping. And add more customization for your players. I want to be able to play at a higher FPS. I don't want to have to drop. I want lowest fucking graphics, just like before. You should reward kills and placement, at least equally. Kills should matter. If you go really high kill games, it means you're good. If you're way better with high kill games, you get way better players than you do with top 5 placement because anyone can get top 5 by just AFKing. But also letting your general audience participate in the game is great. And that's why there needs to be multiple forms of qualification and multiple forms of overall just improvement for your positioning in the game and leaderboards and stuff like that. And please, fucking fix that Pathfinder, dude. Fix, fix Pathfinder, dude! Please, bro. Please. Please. 